Hola amigos, what's coming up next? It's Weeknight Update with Ellie Mueller. Then the morning show starting Rebel Wilson and extremely early with Edward Scott. That's all still to come on Nick at Night. Adios. From the court to Dojo. And <laughs> this is a wonderful place. Unlike the new Bird TV shack. It's week now up there really new. And now, man, you is a better host than New Bird. I mean, come on. What is going on with New Bird more these days? I mean, she used to be amazing. Now, she has gone from good to really bad. <clears throat> Mr. Ellie Gunning, you are. They don't really go to war with our boys out. Come on, everybody, come on. Hey, Bob. Hey, Tom. Do you believe we're talking about Drew Barrymore tonight? I can't believe it. I mean, this is ridiculous. I know, right? Yeah. Woo. Now, folks, you only have one more chance to uh, get your responses in for this week's uh, Count of the Week question. But do you think it's causing all the bullies to act the way that they have been acting? And do you think that they will be stopped? Go over to the community tab post right away. All right? And get your responses in, all right? Because you don't have much time left, all right? No, I'm serious about this, all right? I'm serious. The theme song was composed by Dominic Mattis Piano. The color be cool, the Cavalier, and EYL 2004 are responsible for most of the things you're going to see and hear on this program tonight. And there are also our Child Spotlight winners. Our other Child Spotlight winners are Isaac Jeff Fanatic, Howell Fanatic, Super Car Fanatic, Zach, Fanboy Films, Fanboy Films 2, Charles Munson, The Ultimate Mario Gamer, Landon, The Hedgehog, and Blue Blue Moore, Blom Blom. You know what we gotta do? Alright, so let's not waste any more time. What's up, what's up, what's up? Here we go, here we go, here we go. What is a uh 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 what uh uh is a uh what uh uh is a uh what is a what is a what uh uh is a uh what uh uh is a uh what uh uh is a uh uh what is a ba 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 ba. All right, what's up with Drew Barrymore, a woman who lost her big chance to have a revolutionary career? She have given her writers a lot. No, not the writers, right? She tried to get her talk show back, but the WGA came. Yep, the internet hurt her too. So, what can you do? No, wait, actually, the internet. Ah, why that hurt. Now, hold on. Her talk show is back now, and so are all the writers. Actually, not really all the writers, but you know the deal, right? Now, wait, do we care? Nobody will watch it now. I mean, come on, it's true. Another topic. MP, Mr. Bowles, let's go. Does everybody know what time it is? Is it time for something that involves a weeknight update? That's correct. It's time for our top eight. Yeah, top eight to know what the top eight things are. Yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what the top eight is going to be this time. Well, we're going to have to figure it out. Well, Ellie's going to figure it out. Yeah, Tom, it's absolutely so. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Take it away, Ellie! Yeehaw! Hey, boss, nice category. Topic reasons why Drew Barrymore is scared of Hollywood now. Number eight, WGA members hate the fact that she requires to her other crew members over them. Number seven, she wouldn't work for Adam Oliver. Number six, he makes more money than everyone else, and everyone else hates her. Number five, she has never supported a strike a day in her life. Number four, she once told everyone that Maggie Smith should have her own late night talk show. Number three, she wouldn't do a movie with Nick Cannon. Number two, she wouldn't give money to a struggling Amanda Bynes. And number one, the only person who would actually work with her is Maggie Smith. What? Really? Maggie Smith and Drew Barrymore together? I know, it's a messed up combination. You think? Thank you, boys. Thank you. You know the drill, hashtag week now up there, hashtag LVO for late now, hashtag LVO for adults, and hashtag spread love around. Get those things to turn on social media, please. And while you're at it, like this thing, subscribe, ring the bell, share, and we can chat in the comment section down below. But whatever you do, please do not go away.
because when we come back, I put the sky, special delivery, multiple sense of fire, and August time. That's right. All those things will be coming out here right after we take a look at this. This is still week now up there, and now here it is, your father. Right. Story time. As he squeezed the melons, he pictured them as the hearts of his enemies. This is the price tag on Empire's least expensive carpeting. Can you beat this price in Chicago? Well, maybe you can. But you may not get separate polyfoam padding. In fact, you may not get padding at all. You probably won't get 72-hour delivery, and you certainly won't get a free telephone or shampoo or with your order. So I guess that makes $6.95 the best value in town after all, doesn't it? Well, don't just sit there. Call. 588-2300-EMPIRE. I'm not coming down till you do. We can do anything for our friends. Every Charles and Jim are very happy with our adventures. Since Scratch murdered Charles and Jim, long live Cookie Bun Cooper and Sonic the Hedgehog. Now we must protect Fiona since she has PTSD. Long live Cookie Bun Cooper and Sonic the Hedgehog. Now that my beast have we found. 
I can forget. And now Fiona has PTSD no more, yeah. How's your rocket strong get through? Do you want to skip me before me? Well, we found an adventure We sort it out for you We know what to do We are such clever chaps Now he's alone now Long live Cookie Bunk Cooper And Sholik the Hedgehog He's a genius! Excellent, excellent, excellent. Hey, do you know what time it is? That's right, it's talky time to know what Ellie is talking about. So, let's talk about it. And don't tickle me, please. Drew Barrymore wanted to get her talk show back on the air. You know what, just before the writers got what they wanted. And just before the actors and actresses to even get a chance to get uh, what they want. You know, the reason why is because, you know, she wanted to make sure that the rest of her crew was all right. And everybody was like, well, why can't you just uh, give uh, everyone, uh, you know, uh, some money? Well, I could understand Drew's uh, viewpoint. You know, you know, to an extent, all right, because, look, all right, during the writer's strike and the actor's strike, you know, no work was being done, and the people who are responsible for editing everything and things like that, yeah, they can't uh, get anything done. Well, they couldn't get uh, anything done, I should say, because it had already happened, you know, the writer's strike. Yeah. You know, now the writers are back to work, and, uh, you know, what work is being done, you know, to an extent. All right, still got to deal with the actors and actresses, but we'll get there, all right? Now, you know what, that's the point, all right? Drew later made a video on Instagram justifying her uh, decision, you know, her previous decision. You know, and everyone got mad. Now, I understand what other people were saying, you know, because other people were telling her that she uh, was a scab and things like that. But come on. All right? You know, her crew needed to work. All right? The crew members need to work. Right? You know, and if the crew members aren't getting work, you know, and the writers and the actors and actresses were only caring about, you know, what, their deal, then it's like, what gives? All right? What gives? All right. It just makes no sense. At any rate, the Drew Barrymore uh, show is coming back on the air. All right. You know, sometime within the next uh, couple of weeks. Next couple of weeks. Like, and. I don't know what is going to happen now. I mean, it's like after I still on strike, you know, and and nobody wants to uh, promote the uh, struck work or anything like that. So. I don't know. All right.
And it's kind of awkward if you think about it, because now the talk shows that we thought were going to be in major trouble, guess what? That's going to uh, look a little bit better now. You know, like the Jennifer Hudson show? Yeah, the show that we thought was going to bomb. It's actually a little bit better. No, by comparison. No, wait. I forgot. Jennifer Hudson uh, no, followed Drew Barrymore's footsteps, too. He followed, uh, he followed uh, Drew Barrymore's lead. Oh, wait. I think that it's time for us to uh, wrap it up. No, I know that it's time for us to uh, end this uh, little program here. Woo! Thank goodness this episode is over. I'll see you tomorrow. That's new. I'm out, Steve. Go all by for all.